walks down the street walking and Officer James Tippett in that patrol car is about to make this turn coming up the street. And this is what exactly happens. As Lee Harvey Oswald walks straight, he looks up, sees the police car, and this is what he does. That right there was enough evidence, guys, for that officer to come up and stop him. Why did he turn around? He pulls up right next to that officer. I mean, that officer pulls up right next to Lee Harvey Oswald, rolls down the window and says, come here. They exchange words and apparently J.D. Tippett didn't like what he said. So he gets out of the car, grabs his gun, and he's holding, he's about to pull up. And Lee Harvey Oswald, so quick, he comes around that car and shoots him three times right there, folks. His body lays right there, shoots him three times in broad daylight. Lee Harvey Oswald walks away. He doesn't run. He walks away. Stops, comes back, goes around the car, and puts one more in his head just to be sure. Cold blooded, huh, guys? Let me tell you what happened to Hidalgo. That taxi driver is actually right here. He runs over, walks over the body of Officer Tippett gets in the patrol car and starts radioing for help on the CB. Officers down. Please help. Tip to Patton Street, please. I saw the killer. He was 5'8", 5'9", 140, 150 pounds. Black hair wearing a white jacket. Please help, please. And repeats it about five or six times when they radio in. We're on our way. 